लेते हैं आज की जो वीडियो है वो है ड्रॉन का ड्रॉन ड्रॉन मिनी ड्रॉन मैं तो कौन सा ड्रॉन है सी Every once in a while here on Tech Review Tuesday, we get a special package, a special product that is yet to be released to the public. We get to check it out first. Today is such day. I'm aware that today is Thursday, not Tuesday, but we couldn't open these on Tuesday because there was a press embargo. Ooh. These are the accessories. There it is. Mavic Pro 2 1, Mavic Pro 2 2. All right, so we have the two new Mavic Pros here. This is the Mavic 2 Pro. The Pro has a big fat one inch sensor on it. That means better image quality, better low light, better color, better everything. This is the Mavic Pro 2 Zoom. This one's got a 24 to, 24 to 48 millimeter optical zoom lens. Okay, now for the other. All right, so before we get into the flight tests of these drones, I just wanna talk about how I actually judge drones, drone quality, etc. So, you've got two axes. You've got the quality, how good is the picture that it yields? Anywhere from okay to top notch versus the price. Expensive, less desirable, cheap, everybody wants cheap. This is the sweet spot here. You want a cheap, but top quality drone. So you start with something like this Spark here. The Spark is the Spark is three hundred ninety nine dollars, which is very cheap. But the quality the quality is just about okay. So the Spark I put right about there. Then there's the folding Mavic Air, and the Mavic Air is improved quality, slightly more expensive. I put it right about there. The original Mavic it has absolutely stellar quality, and it's not that expensive at nine ninety nine. I put it right about there. This thing best quality for consumer marketed drones that DJI sells. Quality is all the way over here, but they start at fifteen hundred dollars and they go up from there depending on which controller you get and all that jazz. So. They're more like here. Now testing the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Pro, the price puts them, well the price puts them right in the middle here and the quality is to be determined, but obviously I'd love to see it right, right around here. So we're heading to a prime drone flying area where there's gonna be lots of things to look at and we can fly there legally. Justin, why can we fly in Coney Island legally? Coney Island's outside commercial airspace, class B. So it's just outside of JFK's like no fly zone or whatever. Just another reminder to always respect the rules of the Federal Aviation Administration, right? Yeah, you got it, that's exactly right. See me on the subway far from home Had to find a way back on my own One day I'll be used to being alone I know it So we are here at New York City's Coney Island Seem like the prime location to test drones Been about a million days but I Wonder if you still want me to die Hopefully you'll come to realize mm. Sound test, checking the sound all right, so the very first test here is going to be with the Mavic Pro 2 Zoom. I think that's what it's called. Yep.
my first time flying the zoom. Having a zoom lens, especially one in the air, lets you do things that otherwise would be impossible with the drones. One of the cool things though is it's letting me do it live, so like, or automatically. So I go 48 millimeter, I swipe up to 24 and it automatically zooms out or in. So the implementation? It's very good. I mean, very good for a beginner, for sure. Really pretty impressed. So this is the Pro, and this thing does not have zoom. It's more expensive, but it does have DJI's Hasselblad one inch sensor on that. That means like a bigger, better camera that should yield better dynamic range, better colors, better low light, better kind of everything. That is the regular Mavic, the Mavic 1. We're gonna fly all of DJI's legacy drones now to compare the image quality between the old drones and these, and these two new drones uh, on the market. been out here yet? I ate a hot dog here. Yeah. You, you told me that we were gonna eat hot dogs now. No hot dogs. No hot dogs. We gotta go back. Okay. I want a hot dog. It's like a shriveled up. Like, it. it looks eat so it. bad, but it's a classic, right? American classic? <laughs> so bad. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> mom, 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 mom. Ooh, that's good. Oh, that hot dog is not sitting well at all. Ah, as someone who's super fluent with consumer and prosumer level drones, having looked at the footage that these things yield, I am not surprisingly, but I am extraordinarily impressed with what they're capable of. The Pro in particular has amazing dynamic range and just this camera that they've managed to put on here is just an extremely impressive camera. Uh, and that's not to take anything away from the, where did I put the, the Mavic Zoom. Uh, if I had to guess, I would say the Zoom yields a very similar image to the Mavic 1, but that Zoom feature is extraordinary. And personally, I think that this Zoom is going to be my new go-to number one drone. This. This will be the drone that lives in my camera bag. This will be the drone that I travel with. This will be my new drone. So what that means for my, my chart here, I take the Mavic 2 Pro at $1,449 and I put it, I put it right about here. The quality is top notch. The price is still a little bit expensive, but the Mavic 2 Zoom with its Zoom feature the quality is top and the price, considering what it does, the closest drone to the sweet spot of any drone I've ever used. And I would say that DJI with these two latest releases once again shows that 
when it's time to buy a drone, it's not do you buy a DJI drone, so it's just which you. DJI drone do you buy. Mavic Pro drone. Kafi achha hai matlab zoom kafi clearance achhi hai iski. So yehi thi aaj ki video. Aur aaj ke liye bas hi. Milte hain next video pe milte hain next video mein. Bye.